What's good YouTube? It's your boy Alpha Toxin coming at you with another Destiny video. In today's video we're taking a look at this sniper rifle, Wailerin's March. Now Wailerin's March is an exclusive Iron Banner sniper rifle. This dropped for me in a rank 3 package as I was playing on my Warlock. Now the Wailerin's March dropped for me at a 313 attack which is great. Anything over 310 is a great roll guys. Let's take a look at some of the sights that we have on this sniper rifle. We have the Sightsis, Short Gaze, and Taxis. We have been using the Short Gaze as well as the Taxis scope. Um, that reduces our range but increases our stability. That to me, in my opinion, is, uh, is what I'm looking for in a scope. Um, in this gameplay we will be using the Short Gaze. The Short Gaze does give us a little additional aim assist. We also rolled Eye of the Storm. The weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower, anything that gives you more accuracy, you know, like a short gaze, as well as the hidden hand and the eye of the storm, all works together to try to make this uh, a more accurate sniper rifle. Now, unfortunately, eye of the storm isn't the best roll for a sniper rifle. Um, eye of the storm is great on uh, the, a fusion rifle that I use because I am going to sometimes take a few shots before I get that uh, fusion rifle shot off. And the eye of the storm is going to kick in and make that shot a little bit more accurate. So a great roll on a fusion rifle, not the best roll on a sniper rifle because you do want to, um, you know, have the have the first shot. You want to be at first health. You want to be able to to side in on, on that headshot and get and get that kill. So eye of the storm is not going to kick in enough. We could have had a possibility of of another another roll, maybe something like army of one or Grenadier would have been a great roll that would have kicked in uh, more often than, than Eye of the Storm. On these middle uh, perks, we got a choice of skip rounds, rifle barrel, and reinforced barrel. The reinforced barrel is going to increase the range but reduce the stability. We d on a high fire rate sniper rifle like this, we don't want to reduce our stability at all. Um, and again, I like a, a shorter range um, and higher stability on my sniper rifle. Rifle barrel increases the range, reduces the reload. That's great for um, shotguns, but this is a sniper rifle. We want uh, increased stability, uh, so we don't want to take away from our stability or our reload. We're going with skip rounds. Not a great perk, but it, um, it does uh, say that it lets you carry more rounds in reserve, and anything that gives you more um, sniper rifle ammunition it is good. So. It's unfortunate, but that's the, the perk that we're going to be running in this middle column. And finally, we have Hidden Hand, which is a great, great um, roll for any sniper roll. A little bit of added aim assist um, is going to be good. So the combination of Hidden Hand and the aim assist from Short Gaze and then a little bit of help with the Eye of the Storm um, are what's going to save this sniper rifle. A little bit of added accuracy when, when you need it. Um, hopefully, if you get a, a hold of this sniper rifle, you do get get some better perks. Um, you know, maybe like a quick draw or snapshot would have been would have been great here in this middle column, or anything that would have increased stability would have made this a great great um, sniper rifle. Now this is a high fire rate, low impact. Um, you still can get that one uh, headshot kill if you do miss that headshot, then because of quick fire rate you can get that second body shot in pretty quick and and get that kill. Uh, because it is a low impact you're not able to get the revive snipe so it's not the best for something like Trials of Osiris or or Skirmish or something like that um, but just a regular 6v6 clash or control um, a solid sniper rifle. Uh, it does have a little bit of trouble when you're trying to take down um, Sunbreaker Titans um, when they're throwing their hammers or warlocks that are in the, their storm trance because they do have that added shield and sometimes a higher impact sniper rifle can can take them down with a few shots so I have had a few, little bit of trouble with um, opponents that are in, the, in their super and that's one of the things that that I enjoy about the crucibles being able to one shot those you know blade dancers or you know, hunters that are going to their golden gun or something like that. You want to be able to to take them out 
quickly and uh, unfortunately this my rifle has has trouble with that but um, still pretty good uh, with the headshots or the double body shots guys so I do have some gameplay for you so that's enough talk here's the gameplay enjoy Alright guys, some 6v6 Crucible gameplay for you. Um, after playing a few games with this sniper rifle, I um, have to admit it wasn't doing everything that I wanted it to. Um, I, I was able to get a few kills with the sniper rifle, but it just wasn't feeling as comfortable as the um, steel piercer that I use or even the, the No Land Beyond. Uh, those two sniper rifles feel much more comfortable, easier to to get those headshots. Um, I was thinking about just using this as um, fuel for uh, infusion to maybe increase the damage on, say, the steel piercer. Try to get the steel piercer up over over 310 damage because I do use that in. Uh, Trials of Osiris. Um, I did a little bit of research after I made this video, just kind of researching the stats or the hidden stats on this sniper rifle. I did discover um, that a couple websites did show that the Whalerin's March is the highest available aim assist on a sniper rifle. Um, so after discovering that, um, I believe one of the numbers that was given was a 79 um, added aim assist on this sniper rifle and that's not including the bonus of the hidden hand or the short gaze scope or even the um, eye of the storm perk. So what I've decided to do is um, make a follow up video. We'll play um, some more games in, in the Crucible and try to take advantage of that aim assist. I think I need to just work on um, trusting the the aim assist and uh, work on on maybe some some better drag scopes and just trust that the aim assist is going to kick in. Um, you know, compared to something like the steel piercer, I believe the steel piercer was um, somewhere at like a you know a 50 high 50 aim assist um, but just feels really really good when it comes to headshots um, so I was a little surprised to discover that this is um, almost 30 points above when it comes to the added aim assist so what I will do is uh, make a follow-up video for you guys and just work on those drag scopes and allow the aim assist to do to do what it does. I think a lot of these snipes I'm just kind of like point and shoot. I need to do a little bit more of the uh, of the drag scope to take advantage of the, of the aim assist on this. So um, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it so hopefully in the, in the next gameplay you'll see a few more a few more headshots come in. Um, all in all, pretty solid sniper rifle. I do have some concerns about the overall impact. The impact is very low. Um, the high fire rate, so you are able to get two or three shots off very quickly. Right here, you know, I get three shots on this guy. You know, I am going for the body shots because I don't have much time. I think um, a thousand yard stare with three body shots on a storm trance warlock would probably have taken him down so it's something like that that concerns me a little bit um, you know I'm really big into the revive snipes or taking down opponents that are in their their super ability so with this gun it's going to take a little bit more work it might take a headshot and the possibility of a body shot or even two body shots to take them down but because I am able to 
carry so much ammo with the um, armor that I use. Um, and if I can dial in the headshots on this, this might be a solid sniper rifle if I, like I said, if I can dial in those headshots, um, it might be able to, um, you know, take advantage of that where maybe the, um, you know, the possibility of not taking down an opponent in the super, if I can still manage to get um, consistent headshots with it, it still might be viable in um, everyday crucible gameplay. Still not a sniper rifle I would take into skirmish or trials of Osiris where those revive snipes are, are you know, are really important. Um, there's been a couple times where um, I've seen the enemy that's taking damage and they might be at half health and normally um, any other sniper rifle that I use, a no land beyond or a steel piercer, even a thousand yard stare, you know, a body shot would finish them off. And with this sniper rifle, there's been a few times where I've, you know, taken that body shot on purpose and the body shot still left them with enough life that they were able to, to get away and I wasn't able to get a second shot on them. So it really, you really do need to take advantage of the headshots and I think, um, you know, with the high aim assist and the, the role of the hidden hand, I'm going to definitely try to take advantage of that and have some more gameplay before I give it my final, um, and before I give you my final thoughts on just how good it is. But right now I'm not too sure about, you know, the, you know, the ability of it, but because it is the highest aim assist in the game, I think I will, you know, give it one more try and come back and let you, let you guys know how it turns out. So that's enough talk, guys. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll talk to you all next time. Victory doesn't win a war, but it's a start. Good work.